thing wobbing. Wop, wop, wobbing. Wop, wop, wobbing. When I come around, got the whole thing wobbing. Wop, wop, wobbing. What is going on, guys? It is Rex from today with another YouTube video. Today, we have the new Gauntlet Unleashed 5. Now, of course, this video is coming out a little bit later than I'd like it to because of the fact that the servers were down until about 1230. And right now, the Gauntlet solos are not currently in the game. They did take them away because they figured out those supposedly are what is causing the problem with the server. So they're going to try to fix those. So unfortunately, right now, you can't play the solo challenges. So in order to get yourself the final tokens you might need unfortunately you can't play those right now but for the 93 overall which i expect it to be we actually got ourselves a deshaun jackson so i'm gonna go ahead and throw my tokens in here now with the new gun unleashed souls or the new gauntlet souls and the gauntlet unleashed once they do finally release those back in the game of course you get three gauntlet trophies because you get one from playing the you know lower level medium level and then the veteran level now at the end of that i do believe that you get yourself not only a gauntlet trophy for the veteran but you also get yourself an 89 overall plus elite player and i'm pretty sure they said a legends fantasy pack so definitely some pretty good stuff we can get out of the gauntlet soul challenges this month around in the final month so i'm definitely gonna make a video when i do get all those rewards and then I'll finally be able to get myself this master. But as you guys can see, the final player we got for Deshaun Jackson, or for the gauntlet, is January Deshaun Jackson. He does have some crazy good stats. Now, of course, he does take 10 collectibles. And as you guys can see, you need to turn in all of the gauntlet champions to select an upgraded, auctionable, and tradable version of a 9 to run. Now, you will get all the gauntlet champions back. So... If you use these guys like me, I actually use Brandon Marshall, Penn, Ansa, and Barry Church for my team. Now, also Deshaun Jackson will definitely be using my team. So you get all these guys back and you get to choose a 95 overall version that is auctionable. So that's definitely very, very good. And I definitely want to thank you for doing the set like that. But we can go take a look and see all these guys' stats because they should be up on the auction block. Now, I'm not too sure what they're going to be under as, so... Maybe there is a gauntlet program. I'm honestly not sure. We can take a look and see. And where is it at? Gauntlet Champions. Okay, so they are actually okay, so they are up as auctionable. Now we can see which one is going for the most. They're probably all going for about the same. And it looks like Barry Church and maybe Philip Rivers are the most expensive. I'm honestly not too sure. But let's take a look at these guys and go over their stats. We have Donald Penn. 95 overall here, secure pass blocker. We compare it to his Gauntlet Champion. I guess we compare all these to their Gauntlet Champion, except for Donald Penn or except for Deshaun Jackson because we don't have him yet. But 92 strength, 95 run block with a 93 pass block, 93 impact, 93 awareness, 84 stamina, 67 speed, and a 57 agility. Now you have to take into effect that, of course, these sets did just come out, and with the Gauntlet Solos not in the game, these cards are going to be at their price, you know, the highest right now. So if you're buying Deshaun Jackson for 300k, you're out of your mind. But when I do finally do the set, I'm probably going to pick somebody and just sell him. So we're really just going to go whichever guy is the highest in terms of price. And we have Brandon Marshall comparing to his Gauntlet Champion. He actually, oh, and all these guys actually have a special ability too. So he has Unfakeable, 85 speed with 96 awareness, 96 tackle, 96 play rate, 93 block shit, 95 pursuit, and an 89 zone with the 90 hit power. Now he does actually have a 79 catching. He has a jumping of an 82 and a block shed of a 93 so definitely a very good middle linebacker there then we have stefan gilmore who may be in my opinion the best one not really too certain on what you guys think is the best one so far but i'd say stefan gilmore might be the best one 92 speed 95 excel 89 agility 96 man coverage 91 zone 96 press 92 play rec and an 85 catch now he actually has pick specialist chemistry so if he gets a pick and he doesn't get touched he's taking it to the house and he does have an 85 catch and he has a jumping of a 90 a block shed of a 66 and a statement of 93 with a 74 hit power it's definitely a very good card in my opinion then we have Deshaun Jackson now this card actually may be the best one in my opinion actually so take a look at him I unfortunately don't have a Deshaun Jackson but I'm comparing to Randy Moss and he has 95 speed 93 catch, 94 looseness, 96 spectacular catch. That's insane. 
for Deshaun Jackson. 90 release, 95 route running, 89 catching traffic, and then 89 jumping. Now he also has himself a run block of a 56 or a 58, pass block of a 56, and he has an 88 kick return, which I kind of thought would be higher. But he has a 90 spin, 91 juke move, and he also has a stamina of a 95. So definitely a very, a very, very, very good card right there. Now, when it comes to which one I think would be going for the most, definitely Deshaun Jackson, in my opinion. He has Energizer chemistry, which I kind of wish was Playmaker, but unfortunately it is Energizer. And then next up, we have Barry Church. Now, he actually has a new chemistry, which a lot of people have been complaining about this chemistry. We'll compare this to his 9-1 overall. 87 speed with 90 excel, 95 pleuric, 93 tackle, also has 94 zone, 93 hit power, the 93 pursuit, and he has an 83 catching, a jumping of an 80, and also has a block shed of an 88. So definitely the better cards, but take a look at his new chemistry, and player has an increased impact on a receiver's catch chance when near the receiver. Now, drops in this game are already pretty dang bad. But when it comes to this new chemistry on Barry Church, and you can expect this chemistry to be on some new players when they come out, this is definitely not good. A lot of people were mad about this chemistry because of how many drops there are already, and with the fact that a lot of people can get this Barry Church and use him, for me, I don't really see me using him. He does have 94 zone, 93 hit power, but 87 speed, 90 excel. There's definitely some faster options at the, at the safety position, so not really interested for me, but that new chemistry is definitely going to cause a lot of more drops, and people are going to be very, very mad about that. Then we have Phillip Rivers, who's looking like an absolute gunslinger. I'm going to compare him to Tom Brady. 64 speed, 97 awareness, 93 throw power, 96 short, 93 medium, 89 deep with a 95 play action, and 88 throw on the run. He also has an acceleration of a 65, and he has conductor chemistry. It's definitely a very good quarterback right there. If you're a pocket passing quarterback, I think Philip Rivers may be the guy you want to go with. Then we have Ezekiel Ansa, and he is rocking out with 85 speed, 86 strength, 89 excel, 93 tackle, 88 block shot, which is definitely a big upgrade from his 89 overall, 95 power move, 90 finesse, and a 94 play rank. Now, he actually has jumped the snap chemistry as well. And we can check and see what his catching is, 66. And if you're interested to see what his zone coverage is, he has a zone coverage of a 72. So. Definitely a pretty solid overall defensive end. Very fast, decent block shed. 88 is not the best, but decent. But an insane 95 power move on that card. Then we have Zach Ertz, who has playmaker chemistry. Take a look at this card. This might be a guy I'm interested in going with, but only 84 speed on a 95 overall really doesn't entice me too much. But a 79 run block, 94 catching, 93 release, 93 route run, 93 catching traffic, and a 93 spectacular catch. Definitely very good. And if you guys want to see some gameplay with any of these guys, maybe I'll pick up a couple of the offensive guys like Deshaun Jackson and Phillip Rivers. Maybe get a gameplay with the two of those because that could definitely be a hell of a combo. Then we have Adrian Peterson, who is definitely going to be an absolute tank. 95 trucking and a 92 juke move. But the rest of his stats really aren't that amazing. You know, he does have 90 speed, 92 agility, 91 excel. 89 carrying, 88 spin, 87 looseness, but 95 truck and a 92 juke, definitely very solid. 88 strength, 77 catching, which actually is pretty good for Adrian Peterson. And he also has a 94 stiff arm and a 92 juke move and a stamina of a 95, but he also has bad ready chemistry, so not the absolute best, but definitely not the worst. And I do believe that is all of the going to players. In your guys' opinion, which one do you think is the best for me? I'd probably say it, it's actually kind of hard to choose between who you'd want to go with, but I have to say Deshaun Jackson, just because of the fact that that speed, 95 speed, 94 acceleration, the 96 spec catch, 95 route running, that's just insane. Imagine running a comeback route with that card, or Barry Church with a new chemistry that's definitely very glitchy. Zach Ertz doesn't look too bad. Phillip Rivers, definitely one of the better pocket passing quarterbacks. Now, I'm not too sure how this is going to affect just the 95 overall you know, market in general with all these new gauntlet guys being out. We can definitely take a look though and see if anyone has dipped a little bit in price. As you can see, Calvin Johnson, 200K. Dan Marino may fall now because of the new Phillip Rivers. I could definitely see that happening. And of course, the team of the year offense should be taking a little bit of a hit because of course, we did just get 
those new solo challenges. So people are going to be pulling the offensive cards. And of course, there's also the offensive set. So people are going to be doing those. So if you guys want to pick up any offensive or defensive team leader players, now was definitely the time to go ahead and do this. I'm going to go ahead and play the solo challenges. And I don't think that the gauntlet solos are back just yet. And it doesn't look like they're back just yet. So unfortunately, I can't go ahead and start playing those to get those rewards for you guys. But if they drop them today, I expect me to have a video tomorrow with all the rewards for that. But if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and comment. Let me know down below which Gauntlet Champion you guys are going to go with. And also, if you guys did open up the Team of the Year Offensive NAT pack, what you guys got. Or if you just opened up any Team of the Year pack, what did you guys pull to there? But if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe, and comment. I'll see you guys next time.